Hey y'all, welcome back to the pink envelope. We have Dorothy Jean Decor Summer 23, and this is like the perfect cubed box, and it's heavy. So, full spoilers as to what they're sending in their summer box. Um, I know full spoilers are out on their Instagram, and I love playing on Instagram, but I hate seeing spoilers in advance because I love doing this with you guys, but I think I saw a spoiler, but I won't know until I open the box, so we're gonna see. Uh, I would love to know, do y'all look at spoilers on Instagram or YouTube? Like when you're like, okay, I wanna know what's going on, or do you not care? Another thing is I would love to do a challenge on today's video. YouTube is being super extra right now, like all the way extra. And if I am not like releasing videos like this, they're hiding videos from y'all. They're squashing, that's what this means, squashing. They're hiding the videos from y'all. as like a no, no, naughty me for not releasing videos like every day of my life. So I was told comments are key. I do not care what you write. I'll ask some questions. If you can answer the questions, great. If you just wanna write, hey y'all, that's a great, like every video, a hey y'all or whatever, we're gonna test this. I wanna see if comments can beat that. I also am working on some really cool other things. I can't say anything about it quite yet, but it's coming. That also should help with um, us getting trickier on YouTube. Anyways, back to Dorothy Jean. If you are new here or you're new to Dorothy Jean, they are one of our favorites, a home decor subscription box. Four times a year, they send a ginormous box or a couple of ginormous boxes filled with home decor that is hand curated to transform your space. And each box follows a season slash theme, but is complementary to past boxes. So the idea is after a year or four boxes, you have transformed your space in the best way. I am at, two years I think now, and I can say my space has been transformed in the best way. Jonathan's favorite box is Dorothy Jean, and he gets to see all my home decor, right? He goes through all of my stuff, but at the end of the day, I told him, you have to pick your one favorite. I think I know which one it is, and he was like, Dorothy Jean decor for sure. So that is my husband's favorite home decor box. The box is quarterly, meaning it comes out four times a year. It's $149.99, shipping is $10 in the US, but if you use TPE first, you get $5 off your first box in a subscription. Uh, and I do have the URL down below so that you can sign up or just go play on their website and look around. I also do have two years worth the unboxings. I will put that playlist up here. Go through them all. The best way to know if Dorothy Jean is a match for you is to look at that playlist and see all the past boxes. Um, I will itemize everything down below in the notes once we know what those items are. And this box ships around June 1st. There's probably more I can share with y'all. I really wanna dive in. I might have to stand up to bust this puppy open because I have it on its side. Look. <laughs> okay, what we'll do is, man, I don't even know if I can put this on my stool. It might still be too tall. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, I might have to sit on the floor. If I can, I can make that transition. Ooh, I can see greenery on top. Normally I would tilt the box and show you, but this is just not gonna work this time. Let me pull some of the packing materials out and put them in my recycling bin, and then we're gonna dive in. Okay, I wonder if I can pull this greenery out. Y'all know I love greenery. <laughs> this thing looks huge! Okay, hold on. What is gonna be my approach? to this. Nope, nope, don't need that. Oh, I can see it, I'm just gonna grab it. I think this is what was making the box heavy. Hold on, oh, this is the super nice packing stuff. Like literally, this bubble wrap, save it you guys. It is epic, 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 and you can use it in so many ways. <laughs> you couldn't even see me, this thing is so big. Well, we're off to a really, really great start. Oh my gosh. I freaking love this. Jonathan is going to love this. He, y'all, I kid you not, 
I don't know, the last time we were at Hobby Lobby, so in the last couple of weeks, because we're at Hobby Lobby a lot, said, I want you to buy one of those big vases like I keep seeing, and I want green stems just sticking out. And I was like, okay, I, I pretty much know what you're saying. I was like, let me start looking around. He is gonna die when he sees that that's exactly what they did here. I love that they are already stuck in the vase in the see-through, like it looks like water is there. I'm gonna hold it up, maybe you can see it better. Like, look, normally we get the vase and we get the stems and it's like, hey, you can do whatever you want with it, style it how you want, but you can't ever get those stems to stand perfectly up because they're not set. All my votes are for this. I love that this is already set. Now I need to ask them and I will double check with them because they shipped my box early. I don't have the QR code or anything already here. If this can go indoor or outdoor, obviously with it being glass, you're gonna wanna be careful where you put it outdoors, but the greenery looks like it potentially could go indoor or outdoor. Also, I don't think it's wired. Oh, well, maybe it is wired but it is separating and sprucing really, really nicely. So like, I personally really love that it's got this like lean and this super biased design and I wanna sit something really pretty underneath it, but I think that if you do not like that, you probably could train it to go a different direction because like, let's just use this, oh, that's too high. <laughs> let's use this stem right here. See how it's pointed forward? Now it's pointed back. They are moving, they do seem very bendable, but they don't look bendable. That's the funny thing. They don't look like they have wire in them. Love, love, love this. Oh wait, we may have to, I'm gonna kind of tilt him like this so he is sticking back that way so he doesn't block me. Okay, she did say that there's an item in the box where the tallest leaf reaches 30 inches tall. So I am guessing that is this guy right here because he is tall. But then down here, I genuinely don't know what to grab next. I don't even know what these are. Hold on. They look like books, but they're feather light. Are, there, are these like those faux books where you can hide your junk in them, but they look like decor? <laughs> they are! This is so great. Jonathan is gonna love this. I'm so sad he's not here. Okay, so these are great because literally you style them and it looks like a set of designer books. You can put them like this. You could, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest doing that. <laughs> you can put them like this. I mean, literally you stack them however, but they open and you can put stuff inside. So quite literally, the perfect little knickknack storage. They're so lightweight, they can go on a floating shelf. You can put them together, you could put them individually like this, and then on the, let's say you have a long buffet. You could set these two together, then put these two over here and put a tray, a round tray in the center. You could stack them on different levels. I love this. I've been super fascinated with this like so this faux book thing that has been happening and i mean look and you know what's super funny is i'm going to go ahead and point this out hopefully y'all track with me it looks like a book that you bought from the bookstore the corners aren't perfect and they never are i don't know if you can see yeah i think this is going to be my best bet on this one there's a little it's a little worn on the corners like just a smidge but it genuinely looks exactly like a book when you pick it up from Barnes and Nobles. Cause when books are being shipped, they do this number in the shipping. So they get these like dull spots in the corners and these have it. So if you're just walking by, you're just walking by and looking at this, not from this side, you can tell there's not pages, but from this side, I don't think you're gonna know that they're fake. Here's what this one looks like. Does anybody own these books? IRL, in real life. Do any of y'all own these? That's what I would love to know. I love to collect books, but I'm kind of cheap. I know they're worth the price that they're, I 100% believe they're worth. But when I go like to weighing things out, y'all know my passion for greenery. I kind of end up getting greenery. Or I'll buy them if they end up at Home Goods. Home Goods is a place where I'm always like, 
What do they have on that rack that's kind of like the extras or the clearance or maybe it's a less famous uh, designer. I usually love less famous designers because their stuff is uh, less mainstream. But tell us if you own any of these in real life. So remember what I was saying? Take your plant, have it leaning this way and stack something underneath. Dorothy Jean did it for you. You don't even have to go find the item to put underneath. You put a little knickknack right here, you are done. Okay. What in the world? Oh my gosh, this is super cute. It's like a leaf-shaped seagrass mat, I'm guessing. It's the same blacks that are in these but it's made out of seagrass. You guys know I love seagrass. But does it go on the wall or does it go on the floor? Okay, the notes say a 30 inch by 16 inch indoor outdoor seagrass rug. So I'm gonna be really honest. I don't think I would want anybody walking on this. It's really, really cool. I would hang this on the wall in a heartbeat. It feels to me like, well, no, I guess not. I was gonna say it's too fragile to walk on, but seagrass is like super, super durable. I have it all through my house. I love it. But look, like imagine this hanging on the wall. I think that would be great. But of course, oh my gosh, it would be cute like as the entrance to the Pink Envelope Playhouse because it's so little. It is a little rug. So I think it's another thing I'm having a hard time imagining it being in front of a real door because it's so little. But the Pink Envelope Playhouse, it'd be super cute. I don't know, this piece is very versatile. Cause now, hold on, stick with me here, hang with me. Center of a table. Literally, center of a table, greenery in the center. Look, that is great. Like that is great. So say you have an entry table or a sofa back table, like you're walking in your house. This is sitting on the table Ooh, which way? I'd probably do the greenery here. And these over here with a knickknack right there. I, I don't think I could put this on the ground. I, I would think I would use it more as a table mat, a center place mat, a wall hanger, because it's very, very pretty. Okay, there's still another item in here. So let me just shimmy this like this, because that is really stinking cute, and grab this last item. Oh, this is heavy. He's little, but he's mighty. What is in here? I kept saying, stick it in, put a little knickknack. Little knickknack is included. Literally, you could decorate multiple spaces if you wanted to, or you literally could just take this out of the box, set it somewhere, and you are done. So one of the things I would say Dorothy Jean is very, very, very good at is one spot placement with her box. You, boxes, like historically, once again, if you look at that playlist, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. I can pop this photo up right here. This is like a, a great example of another Dorothy Jean box where I took everything out, sat it in one spot, and I was done decorating, super easy. This is right here is another example. She really takes the guesswork out of decorating. So if you're like, man, I really, if I'm gonna splurge and spend this much money, I don't wanna be spinning out on trying to figure out what to do with it. Here you go one spot placement. Of course, if you want to separate the items, you can, absolutely. Um, here's what we have to do next. I'm gonna update you on whether this can go indoor or outdoor. This definitely was indoor or outdoor. Uh, the books most definitely are indoor only. I would say this is easily indoor or outdoor. But I want to go grab past Dorothy Jean items so that you can see how beautifully the past boxes align with the current box in designing. Okay, so normally I pull out 
the items from past boxes that like most go with, coordinate, and bring the storyline to our current box together. But then I was like, what if I don't do that? And what if I just put the items out from my very first Dorothy Jean box and move it every season? So this is one season, which I think was like winter of 21. Then we move into this is a season, this is a season, this is a season. <laughs> There's two of these that came in Christmas. That's a season, and this isn't everything. This is just some of each box. So we got the blacks back here that are a season. Then we've got this right here. This one, this one, and this one that was a season. And now we have here. And I feel like, oh, this wasn't included. This is really like a propagation, but the base, this is their base. There actually was two of them, we broke one. But minus this leaf, all of these things came in their boxes, and you can see how it all works really well together, but it also definitely tells the story of the season. The darker tones, the heavier pieces in winter, the lighter tones and the lighter pieces in spring, summer. So now what I'm going to do, now that I've pulled all this out, I was like, I just have to see it. I like need to see it. I'm going to shuffle these things around and pick out the items from my past boxes that I think look most beautiful with this current box, just so we can do a little bit of design. Okay, I lied. <laughs> I have to show this and I have to show one other thing. So with Dorothy Jean, I feel like they always send a gray greenery. I don't even know where to put, where to put myself in this. I wish I could remember all of the seasons. Where's my cell phone? Maybe that can like help me. So spring 22, we got this guy right here. Vase and greeneries, spring 22. Love this, love this, love it. I freaked out in that video. It was just so exciting. It was so different. I have used the heck out of these. They have been abused. They have been indoor, outdoor, and they still look amazing. And then we bounce from here to summer 22, where we got this guy who's completely opposite. This is hands down Jonathan's favorite item we've ever received in a box. Like he just loves this plant. I keep it near his whiskey cart when I'm not using it for other things. So we got this guy here. Then we bounce over to fall 22 where we got these guys here. Once again, the whole set came together. The bunny ears, the gold vase. And I mean, although these three are, in my opinion, very different in style, the way they built them together with the other pieces totally makes it work. So like I have had all of these in the same room at some point and I love the juxtaposition. But then they went from there to winter where they did some green um, like Christmas tree sprigs. I don't have those out here as practically in my Christmas bin. From there we jumped to spring 23. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Nope, nope, nope. Go away Siri where we got this guy in this last box, Spring 23. I think she has some of those left. So if you're looking at this and you're like, crap, I really need that box. I'll drop the link down below. If you move quick, you probably can get your hands on them. And that was an excellent box and it came with a large item. We're gonna cover large items next because that's another thing Dorothy Jean does really well. So this is spring and then we jump straight into summer. So if you like florals, greenery, this is your vibe, you're going to love the Dorothy Jean box because she sends bases and flowers. I mean, I can't promise them in every single box. However, for all the boxes that I've gotten, she has sent one and I love every single one of them so much. The quality has been outstanding. I'm super impressed. So if this is your vibe, this is your box. But let me, let me jump to that second topic. She sends oversized and overweight items in her box all the time. Let me show you what that means. Okay, I'm gonna allow these two to be in both categories because this is the oversized overweight category. <laughs> I like how I'm categorizing these. And these guys, I mean like this one in particular, super, super heavy. This guy's 30 inches tall. So they fit in this category as well. 
These are real marble. They aren't kind of heavy. I have an installation that I did on the Ikea piece in my entryway that I won't put these on because I installed it and I'm not exactly sure how much weight it can hold. And these are so hardy. They're marble storage containers. They're great. We keep them on the coffee table and the kids put their, um, like their Hatchimals and stuff in this one. And then this is the house for the Hatchimals. And man, these have been used to heck and back and they are great, extremely heavy. And then in that Christmas box, she sent these guys. Remember we freaked out? We were like, these are so huge and they're huge. I've used them for water. I've used them for ornaments. Man, we have had these indoors, we have had these outdoors, and they're just, once again, an oversized, overweight item. Uh, this came in my very first box. I freaked out. Like, this was winter 21. It is a concrete stool with a wood base. I've used it throughout my house. Right now, it's holding a, um, a vase full of flowers. Kind of like, no, more like this guy right here. In between two chairs in our living room. Super cute. But it's concrete. Then on the oversized, we got this print and we were like, oh my gosh, remember freaking out? This was like, I think one of the most popular boxes I, that I saw that y'all fell in love with. Um, but we were like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Look at this. It's a whole dadgum canvas print. Then as we're like over here, ooing and awing at how big this is, they ship this in the next box. This is in the spring box that you can still order, the spring 23. It is a whole mirror. Like look at it compared to my body. It's over the half the size of me. And it is fabulous, 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 fabulous. I have this propped up on another piece with a painting in front of it. So as far as like, oversized, overweight items. If you're thinking, oh, well, home decor boxes can't send those things. Mm -mm. Dorothy Jean Decor is rewriting the rules and saying anything goes. They just figure out how to ship it, dive in and go. And we have gotten some like truly unique standout pieces from them. Okay, now back to what I originally said, how I'm going to style using past Dorothy Jean items with our current Dorothy Jean box. Okay. If you've been around here, you know that my theme or theory behind decorating is more is more. Like I am all about more items, but I'm working on that. <laughs> Jonathan is a less is more guy. And so I feel like it's a really good challenge to take on. Like, can I do what I do not following just my rules? So I would have put two times more things up here if it were up to me. But I was like, no, just choose those key elements you would wanna showcase with these new items, and this is where I landed. And it speckled anything from winter 21, the Christmas box uh, of 22. Uh, I think this was summer. It's just a sprinkling of everything, but it shows how well the past Dorothy Jean boxes play with the current Dorothy Jean boxes. She does a great job of staying true to trends without creating a massive pivot. Because if you look at that first box, you can see it has a little more, not antiquing, but the pieces have a little more patina, maybe a little more modern farmhouse and appeal, but that is what was trending two and a half years ago. She was on point with that. Bringing us up to what is trending now, a more minimalistic, or, or ma maximist, it's, you choose one of the two. They're going with more minimalistic design, yet the pieces still play together, and I just love that. That is so hard to do, and they do it so well. So, um, I would love to take you out and decorate my house. However, we are remodeling the house, and you're probably thinking, she's been saying that for over a month. Yeah, um, we're at seven weeks, and we are still without sheetrock. So I don't know how long this is gonna last. Basically, we're waiting on the city to come in and thumbs up or thumbs down our work. And so we're at a standstill and it really, really sucks. Although the new space looks so good. I would give you a tour, but I don't think I would know how to make it make sense. So once it's got walls up, then I can give you a tour. But with just sticks, it's like kind of a mind mess. But 
Um, so I'm going to have to just settle for this. I may take it out and decorate in snap photos, which is a little easier way for me to like kind of finagle things and still show you what I'm planning on doing. If I don't, we got the summer decorate with me. That's coming. It's going to release a little later than normal, probably more towards June, July, but then that will be a great way for me to show you. And if you're like, what is the decorate with me? I have a whole playlist of past decorate with me. So if you're like, man, I don't know what to do for spring or summer, go see what I did for spring and summer 2022. Those are still relevant and great. And you can, oh, well, it won't let me link it twice, but I'll also put it down below as well. That playlist, you can go look at it. We have had so much good stuff going on. Like I am shocked at how good everything has been for summer. I feel like summer can be really hit or miss and this summer has been like on point. I'm loving the colors, I'm loving the themes, I'm loving that we're getting a little more color in some of these boxes. Um, I'm loving the style. I just feel like it's been good. From here, we're gonna jump into a little bit of fashion. I have a front door fashion. I haven't opened one of those, I feel like, in over a year. Um, I have, it's like sitting right there. I have a front door fashion that we're gonna open and try on, which is a luxury fashion uh, box. It's not a recurring subscription. It's a, you order a box when you want one and they have the best brands. Um, the June monthly haul, you are not gonna wanna miss it. That releases on Wednesday, May 31st. I think 75% of the boxes are brand new to the channel. And I think there's like 10 boxes in there. It's gonna be really, really good. And then we pop into June. I've got some like Erin Condren stuff coming. Um, what else do we have on deck? That's when I'm hoping to pull off the decorate with me, but it may be closer to July. Anyways, lots of good stuff coming. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Subscribe now so you don't miss it. I also am going to sub summit the place where all subscription box owners go hang out. I'm crashing it. So I'm gonna find out who's coming, what's coming, when it's coming, what to expect, what trends are coming. Like I'm gonna get my hands on everything. So if you see me a little bit quiet on video releases during that time, hop on my Instagram stories and my YouTube stories. I might even be able to pull off some short unboxings. If I see some brand new boxes that I think we're gonna love, I'll throw them in shorts. And if you're subscribed, it'll be easier to see those first. I don't know how shorts pop up, but I think stories last about three days. So that's kind of cool. All right, you guys, I hope that you are having a very blessed day. And if you did subscribe to my channel, I'm going to see you later. Bye y'all.